Welcome back. So we're back on our molested hydraulic cylinder here. I need to get the rod off from the clevis and there is a Allen screw. But it doesn't really move. This is just stopping the rod from rotating. It's actually a bit different on the drawings, but the problem is that my drawings are for an FOD R5, not for a 6. Uh, they got a clamping sort of device there. Just need to get the rust clear of the rust here. And this is just a grub screw here, which comes out. It took me a while to find it because everything was full of paint. So now, if we put it into the vise, we should be able to unscrew that thing. A bit hard. Might be some Loctite in it. I don't know. Oh. Oh. I was just wondering if there is another one here somewhere. But. There's not even the center in the in the rod. So we need to use a steady rest and put the center in first. Looks like there's some Loctite or something in it. At least it's pretty rusty. I'm gonna take the dimensions of that thing because I think we need to make a new one at some point. Let me get that out and uh, We'll come back. So here we have it. Pretty long thread actually. But it's a relatively easy to make rod, so it's just that flat. Uh, that thread. And uh, this thread here. It's got a really sharp corner, I don't know why. Post. Alright. These nicks. We need to stone off a little bit. I wonder what they did with that. It just makes no sense. So I'm gonna put that into a lathe, put the center in, and then clump it here, maybe here, and uh, get rid of that super sharp corner here. This is really bad. Everything is a bit sharp. So we set up in the lathe with a steady rest, um, do a center drill here, and. Uh, Hopefully, we're almost at the end of the machine, look at that, it's going to be tight. Um, and then we'll just take that sharp corner off, polish this one a bit, because this is sharp as well. Everything is sharp here. Alright. Okay, let's put the center in and uh, sort that jumper problem out. This is really hard here. I need to I need to find another insert here because that's it's actually the wrong way around, but I don't like that actually. Let me see if I can find another tool here. It's getting there, but uh, it chatters a little bit. So everything is nice and smooth, no sharp edges anymore. Yeah, like that. So we need to address these nicks. Let's just do it with a stone very, very carefully. Just to make sure the fingernails don't catch anymore. And then we can put it back together. Uh, we need to hone the cylinder as well and uh, obviously do the plug and the piston. So we stoned all the high spots away. There's a really deep nix here. It's flat now, so it doesn't catch the fingernail anymore. Uh, hopefully it's okay for now. Uh, there's not much you can do really. 
uh, if the rod is shot, it's shot. So we're gonna get some material and uh, do some measurements and then we just make a new one at some point. Um, yeah, because this is not gonna last forever. And if I order the material, at least I have one if it starts leaking again. I think it's okay because the seal is quite long so there might be a little bit coming out but not much. Let's look into the housing. Alright, here we got the gland plug and uh, you can see it here is a nick. There was another one here and there is a super sharp bore here as well. So and I think this is one of the reasons why we couldn't get it out. So let's polish that up. It's super rusty. Uh, let's just polish it and uh, then see what we can do with that one here. Because this shouldn't have any burrs. Let's see what we can do. There's some more burrs here. Look at that. I wonder how we can do that. Look at that. This is so bad. Let's just clean it up a little bit. I think this was in a vice or something. Yeah, look at that. It's just displaced here. This material is displaced. So someone banged on it. I don't know. Yeah, let's see. Let's make the best of it. So we polished the outer diameter and it looks good. It fits, but it's binding. There's less play here and then you get it in and then you've got a hard time to get it out. There's a lot of burrs inside. There are no burrs anymore on this one because we took them all off. There's a lot of material displaced in one corner here. So we filed it down and polished it. So that's all good now. So we need to address this one here. It's very dirty and oh, hold on a sec. I don't know if it's visible. But there is a big burr here where the wire goes. Because I think the wire was too small so the, the cover was working. So we're gonna hone that thing. Uh, hopefully it's somehow better than that's the only thing you can do. Just need to get rid of all these burrs because this this one burr which is razor sharp and that's causing us trouble. So let's get some hound stones and uh, we'll clean it out first and then we're gonna hone it. So everything prepared, we oiled it up. What we're gonna do is we, we do a light skim and then we'll look for the high spots and look where they are and then we'll see what we can do. This is definitely, you can see it already here, this is a ridge. And I think the bore where the oil comes in, you can feel there is something as well. It's probably hard to see. You can see here, these corners, they are really sharp. And that's causing our issues. Okay, let's try that and see what comes out. So here you can see the entire drama. Look at that. That's where all the high spots are. Quite a fair bit. So let's do a little bit more and then deboil the edge and then hopefully we're good. Looks like we have success here. That's what we want. Here we go. That's what we want. And you can see the ridges here. They are pretty sharp. So what what actually happened is the, the wire walked its way in and out 
and was producing a ridge here and that's the reason why I couldn't get it apart. It was just binding everywhere. Uh, it still doesn't look pretty but it's okay. So let's clean the inner side because that's full of shit as well. And we need to restore that snapping groove a little bit because it's got a few dings and dents as well. Okay, we're getting there. Uh, just got a phone call. We're getting an oil tank tomorrow, so uh, we need to forklift tomorrow. So everything is nice and clean. No debris left. Clean that groove a little bit more. And then we're going to put the rod together and put it in. There was a lot of rust and burrs and everything. Uh, still not super pretty, but honestly, it's not a new cylinder anyway. So it's got some interesting split line here. I wonder if this is screwed together somehow. Can be. But I can't see the reason why. No. Anyway, let's put the seals in. So that's our seal pack. Always check if they if they're good or if there is anything weird. And then just put them in. I'm pretty sure there is a installation tool with a cone or something like that. But we don't have that. So, and now you can feel a proper reaches here. Okay, there's quite a bit of clearance here. I think it needs compressing with the with the top one. So, I need to sort that top plate with a with a wipe rod, and then we'll come back. It's becoming clear why this is so molested here. You need to compress the seal. Um, so we go on the press. Push it down a little bit, and uh, maybe do it in the device, um, and then put the circle on. That's what it is. They hammered it in. I I cleaned it as good as I could. You can still see there are some dings and dents here. So th I think that was the problem. It was just <laughs> well. I don't know what to say here. Okay, let's uh, let's compress that. Oh, I need to find the circlip first, and once that's all good, we put the wiper seal in. That's the old one. It's uh, done. So we got it in. I just used a a socket and gave it a vac. I had to use the old circlip because I don't have any in that size. I need to buy some. I can always change that later. Uh, we just measure it and buy some new ones. So we got the gland almost together and uh, with very little force. If you use a rubber mallet, it doesn't mark anything. So this one goes in this way and it looks good to me because that goes to the outside. It should keep the debris out. Okay, it's a bit loose. I wonder if there's a backup ring. There is none. Okay, good. Gland done. Uh, let's assemble the piston. Well, that's interesting. There's another pinch hole here, but I can't see the screw. Maybe it's been torn off. I don't know. There's clearly a hole here. There was a set screw at some point. There is no hole at all. I think it's broken off and someone 
just ground it off and drilled a new hole. Okay, let's assemble that. So, just we tighten it up. We didn't put any Loctite in. Uh, just get nice and tight because it actually, not too much because it actually distorts the thread. So, let's get that clean here and then boil everything up. And then just plenty of oil. It's uh, can't be too much. This is hydraulic oil, so it's the right oil. And then it might be a bit of a challenge to get it on because it's all everything is tight. So just smear that around everywhere, and then. Try to get it on. Okay, we got the. We got. Yeah, it's tight, and this is probably the reason why they banged on with a hammer here. So that's what we came up with. And just. Use the piston not to drive it in. The nut moves a bit hard, so you can't really tell how far you are. Let me screw that on and then we'll come back. So, here we go. It's moving quite a bit hard, but it uh, needs a bit of help. needs a few movements but we didn't we don't have any shavings here that's the most important thing okay uh, yeah let me split that piston it should come apart somehow here we go and the same on this side Just there's rust in it. There is some rust in it. So we need to clean that up a little bit. That's where the o-ring sits. Looks a bit rusty here. Okay, so let's let's clean that up and uh, put it together. This is awful. Everything has nicks and dents here. We need to clean that up as well. The other one is nice and smooth now, but this is the rear one. This is the one which goes here. So let's clean that. All right, we give it a, a little bit of a clean off on the lathe. It's all clean. There's just some residue from the old gasket. I can't get it off. So that's this one. The seal pack. This is the seal pack which goes on here. Should normally fit easily. The direction doesn't really matter because it's a bi-directional piston. Don't forget the o-ring. You shouldn't roll them on, but there is a there's a there's a thread here so and then just the rest of the piston in. Sure if we have anything left. No, we don't. The washer. Doesn't really matter which way around. I think this way. Then let's blow that clean. Let's screw it on. And then just bang the in. I'm not gonna go anywhere. Shouldn't. 
All right, we had to reverse the nut a little bit and then just tighten it up again to get the pin out on the other side. So now the backup ring I could have done that before, but well. It's being so tight. I didn't want to put it on because I didn't want to damage anything. So. That's how it goes on. And then the O-ring. Where is it? Here. It's going to go in front of the backup ring. So, we got all the bits and bobs in there. And now comes the moment of truth. Does it go into our cylinder? It's probably tough. Let me try it and uh, we'll come back. Sorry, it's a bit hard to film. I just turned the camera around. I'm going to step on the table and get it. There you go. And then I just need to make sure that everything goes in. So, it was just a little bit of hard work. So let me put a spacer in between and give it another whack and then it should be in and then we can put the wire in. So this went in really nice, uh, super easy. It just went in, there's no, no problem whatsoever. So that's where your wire groove sits and then you just take the wire. Uh, you need, to, you need to shape it a little bit. So ideally, you just shape the whole thing a little bit with the right shape. So it makes life much easier to get it in. I never done one of these because it's it's so different. The other ones normally it just yeah, yeah. they're really hard, really hard to get in here. Shape, trying to shape that wire a little bit and obviously get rid of the sharp corner because you move it around and it comes out so we're gonna f we're gonna make that nice and smooth at this corner and then we drive it in that's the only way to do it there is no other way because there is no hole normally I said before you kink that 90 degrees, hook it into the hole, turn the turn the cap and everything is fine, but apparently not with this one. Alright, let me work on that one. I know I'm probably in the way, but that's how it works. It just move it around and then just push it in until, until it comes back out here and then you just bend it around. A little bit of oil helps. We're here already, no? Yeah, we're here. So, here it is. Get that a little bit further. And what they did, they bent the other end round. So here it is.
and then they just it's strange and I've never seen them look at that that's what I did and that's the other end so let's pinch that off and uh, that's stainless also that's pretty hard to pinch So we do it exactly the same way. And when you want to get it out, you just pull on this end and the, the whole thing comes out. Yeah, you can bend that up a little bit, but it makes life so hard to get it out again. Okay, uh, a bit of clean. I don't know if I'm going to paint that today. I need the forklift and then we'll put it back together and see if we made some improvements here all right we'll come back when we get, when we're back on the forklift I need to look after the pins here because I want to take the grease nipples out and blow this grease hole through and give them a little bit of a skin 29.9 yeah, I think that's all right it's got a bit of wear in this direction so in the push direction push pull direction it's got a little bit of wear we're looking at well, uh, one tenth of a millimeter maybe two depends on where you measure it's all right but the grease holes are probably full of gunk so let me get that grease nipple out and give that a bit of a clean here. Oh, it fits the picture, look at that. Someone banged on it like hell here. Probably bent as well. The, the grease hole is open. I pushed all the old grease out. So we're going to push some new one in. Let's file that down a little bit. It's, it's really not nice. And then we'll put it back. So, it looks a bit better now, I got the sharp edges gone here. Someone hammered on it quite a bit actually. Look at that. Big fat hammer. There we go. So, we leave the grease nipples out. Just in case we need to help a little bit with the hammer. To get them back in. There's not much you can do really. It's just, everything is just, and I think that's the reason for the broken bolts. They tried to drive the pins in with, with the broken bolts. So we got a bottom one in. We chased up all the threads because they are not very nice anymore. So I'm putting new hardware in, and all of those. And uh, obviously greased everything up. Uh, then we need to adjust the cylinder and then Put the, put the pipes back and then hopefully everything works. We'll come back when we fitted all the bits and bobs. It's pointless, you know, to show that. It's just fitting the ears. Everything is smooth and nice. So, yeah, we'll come back in a minute. So, all back together. New bolts, new washers. Um, hydraulic lines are tight. I think, I'm not sure I probably need to bleed it here because uh, maybe it works. We'll see. Just go back and forth a few times. Hopefully, uh, if it's spongy, we need to, we just need to bleed it here because the end needs to come out, and uh, at the moment the cylinder is dry, mostly dry. So. Let's see. Let me fire it up. Uh, we'll take it a bit. And, uh, and we move it back and forth a few times. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 
but not today because I'm getting a delivery tomorrow and I need to talk it. So this is weird then. Well it is what it is. Someone was in it, you can see here. This looks really bad. So that's our next candidate. But not today. So we had it sitting for a while and it's dry. We got a dry cylinder, the other one is leaking still. It's pouring out here. Yeah, you can see here, everything is wet. But we're not going to do that today because we need to focus tomorrow. So, another one fixed. We get there slowly. All right. That's it for today. Carry on tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time.